this week, we're upping sticks and moving to Nottingham in search of a change of lifestyle and a bargain to boot. There are two ways to get more for your money when buying property. You can move to a cheaper area. Or you can buy something that needs a lot of work. This week, our buyer Antoinette intends to do both. Antoinette's a social worker who's been living in London for almost 20 years. We're going to use our house hunting skills to try and help her move back to her hometown of Nottingham. Lower property prices here mean she may finally afford the home she's been dreaming of. The kind of property I'm looking for is something with space, lots and lots of space. I have lots of interests. Um, I do woodwork, I do aromatherapy, massage. So I'd like a place that's big enough to incorporate those two things. I'm probably going to have a lodger staying with me, so I need space for that. I'd like a cellar and a really large kitchen diner. That's what the thing that I'm most looking forward to having. In terms of the budget, my maximum budget is about 90, 90,000. That would be just comfortable for me. Lace making and textiles brought money into Nottingham 200 years ago, but now it's retail and cafe culture that's putting the city back on the style map. But you can still get a lot for your money in Nottingham. In some areas, you can pick up a three bedroom house for as little as 40,000 pounds. The housing boom of the late Victorian period means there's now a wealth of red brick terraced homes on the market. And to make her money go even further, Antoinette's not averse to taking on a place that needs work. Antoinette, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, Phil. How do you do? I'm fine. Now, we hear you're into knocking down walls. Absolutely. I'm happy to take a sledgehammer to a few walls, yep. We know that space is one of your major requirements. Do you think you can get enough space in Nottingham for your budget? I'm confident that I'll be able to get as much space as I need. I need quite a lot of space, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic I'll get what I want. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Antoinette's keen to live as close to the city centre as possible, so we're starting our search in New Basford, just 15 minutes away. This Victorian mid-terraced house in Mandalay Street has three bedrooms. It's on the market for just under £70,000, £20,000 below budget. Here we are, straight in off the street. I hope yes. that's not a problem. Uh, not something I'm very keen on, I must say. It's not ideal, mm. but it is a feature of um, many Nottingham terraced houses. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we're going to come across. OK. It's a nice, decent-sized room, though, I say. I think it could be bigger, because I think that I would actually have a sofa in here in this yes. recessed area. Yes. And perhaps a TV in that corner. Mm -hmm. They haven't used the space as, as well as they might. Now, this was my favourite room of the house, actually. I like uh, the brick. I love the brick, actually. That's the old fireplace, really like which oh, they've, right. they've bricked up. But uh -huh. if you see the curve of the mugs, it's rather clever. Oh, right, the, the arch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's clever, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I like those little touches. The fireplace may be long gone, but it means there's more space. But is there enough space for Antoinette? I guess the layout isn't what I was expecting. I guess I had a thought that um, I'd like a slightly bigger kitchen, diner area. Ah, so the kitchen's big, but not big enough. But she does like the cellar, which has plenty of room for her woodwork. And the house has other hidden advantages. Nottingham is having a new tram link, and one of the routes passes just by the end of the road here. Now, in other cities that have had new transportation systems, like Sheffield and Manchester, property prices along the route have outperformed the market. So we think this is a really good investment opportunity. So up here, Antoinette, there are two decent-sized double rooms. Mm -hmm. But the thing that makes this the master bedroom uh -huh. is da -dum, the master bathroom. Wow. That is <laughs> generous. <laughs> it's very generous, isn't it? It is, it is. Very orange, very generous. We've got to the top of the house. And, uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> But if you thought downstairs was bright, then this one will uh, surprise you up here. Yeah, certainly very bright. <laughs> we thought it was the room that you might be able to rent. Mm. If you wanted to have a lodger. Yes. Just to help initially with the mortgage repayments. Yeah. Having looked up and down the whole house, tell us your general mm. opinion. It's much bigger than I would have thought. You know, stepped in off the street, reasonable sized living room, but it kind of keeps, keeps going on and on and on. It's a very sort of tall house, so there is a feeling of space, which is something I really wanted. So I like it from that point of view. But Antoinette's still dreaming of a grander kitchen diner. Let's see if we can find it in our second property. Sherwood is a fashionable area just a mile from the city centre where prices are starting to soar. This Victorian terrace with three bedrooms is slightly above Antoinette's budget at just under £92,000. Will this be the open-plan living space and kitchen Antoinette's looking for? 
here we are. So this time we've got a proper hallway. Uh -huh. No straight into the sitting room. Silence <laughs> reigns. <laughs> Nice brick again, yeah. very nice. I really like that big First dining thing. area. Yes, oh. this room feels very separate though. And I suppose in my head, I was thinking of one very large room. Mm -hmm. Um, and I suppose this would all have to stay. I suppose it's structural, so but you no. Know, no, 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 it wouldn't. Oh, right, it certainly could be opened up. You need to leave perhaps a foot in the side, uh huh, but you can make this a lot. Wide. Like a really one big room. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm after. Um, I just feel as if I'm being a bit greedy, but you know, I guess you must. It depends you want. how. You, this is what we've got to establish how you're going to use each of your rooms for your mm. different uses. Mm. You've got three bedrooms upstairs. Yeah. You're looking for the um, massage place, the woodwork place, mm. the eating place, the sitting place, yes. the cooking place, yes. the sleeping place, the lodging place. Yeah. So we've got quite a lot of uses. Yeah, there's a lot going on there, isn't there? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's me. a lot going on. <laughs> and this house does seem to have it all. There's room for the lodger with easy access to the spacious bathroom and an impressive master bedroom. It is really, really nice. Beautiful floor, really nice decor. Um, I really like it. It's got a good size to it. Nice big window. Yeah, I like this room. But will the kitchen be an issue again? I'm still thoughtful about having a really large kitchen diner and I did wonder whether it was possible to do anything with this space here, just to kind of maybe some kind of extension coming from this area. A, a simple way of telling whether it is possible f f is standing back and looking at neighbouring houses. Oh, right. And lo and behold, that's exactly what oh, they've done there. yes. You need to remember to leave light to travel into this room, so either a light well in here or you glass roof the whole thing. Uh, either way, it'd make yeah. a very nice kitchen. So, what's the verdict? I like the house. Um, it has some amazingly good rooms, I think. The, the very top room and the room below, both very big. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you could ask for more space, really. But will the plans for a bigger kitchen blow Antoinette's budget? No risk of that at our next location, Snainton's, where Antoinette used to live. It's being heavily regenerated, meaning prices look set to take off. This terraced house is a real investment opportunity. Three bedrooms and the asking price is just £49,000. But there is a good reason. Come in and see what you make of this, Antoinette. Goodness. Um, we're in Snainton, yes. which is, we know is one of your preferred areas. Yes, it is. This house, fairly basic state, but it's on the market at £49,000. We've really brought you here to assess how you feel about this level of work. It's pretty cosmetic work. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't faze me, I have to okay. say. It doesn't faze me at all. She's right not to be put off. The house looks worse than it really is. Now, you see that that's a brand new light. Yeah. The ceiling's yeah. been mostly stripped. Uh-huh. The fireplace has been stripped. If that isn't a new one, I'm not entirely it sure. It looks quite new, doesn't it? The back of the work has been broken. New pipes, mm -hmm. yeah. new radiators. This yeah. kind of stuff is the difficult stuff and it's already been done. Yeah. At less than 50 grand, this house is well below budget and we think that the work needed will cost less than £10,000. Antoinette can do it up in her own taste and when prices in the area rise, she'll reap the rewards. Now, the last house we went to, which had upstairs, had all this bit knocked away yeah. and it did make the room seem bigger. Yeah. It but does. that might be an unnecessary expense for not much added value. Yeah. There may be scope to improve the layout, but the house does feel smaller than anything we've seen so far. Well, there we go, Antoinette. That's, that's, that's what lot. you get. Mm -hmm. For the 49,000. Yes, yes. Um, my impressions? Um, I don't know. The arrangement of the rooms is the main concern. Um, the work that's needed doesn't put me off at all, but I'm just wondering how I'm going to manage to have those separate rooms, the different functions. How much of a pull would it be to come back to this area? Um, there is a pull. Um, you know, I had some very nice times here. It was a long time ago, but I did have some nice times here. Um, but, you know, I'm fairly pragmatic about this. Um, it ha the ha it's the house, really. The house has got to be right. So the layout won't work for Antoinette here, but the state of the house hasn't scared her. 